Happy New Year because he hasn't been on in 2017. State Representative Alan Seaball. Mr. Allen, how are you? How's the family? Everybody's good, I hope. Everybody's doing fine. How are y'all this morning? Good. Couldn't be better. Aaron's going to read this. and This is something I'm sure you know about because you're that guy. But then we want your comments and sort of sort of uh, fill in the blanks, as it were. Yep. Uh, Appropriations Committee, I think, uh, was reviewing this legislative auditor's report. Uh, you're one of those guys. Um, Medicaid problems, claims that were filed erroneously. I'll just read you what I'm, I'm looking at here. That the uh, health department didn't have a process to recover $29 million in Medicaid claims and filed more than $250 million in erroneous reports with the federal government. Hold on a sec. Two, a quarter? of a billion dollars. Yeah. Alan, is that a quarter? Wait, one more. Oh, go ahead. Auditors also said the agency didn't properly, listen to this, didn't properly track the spending of $73 million in federal funds on a nutrition program for pregnant women. Troubling, oh, Alan. Huh? Yeah. Honestly, that's just a drop in the bucket. Um, and, and that doesn't didn't come as any surprise. That's why we requested the audit in the first place. Uh, if you go back and look last year, there was a very telling exchange between Mike Johnson, then, you know, lowly representative Mike Johnson, that Congress, <laughs> between, between him and the, the director of the department, where he was going through her budget asking her, what do you need this for? What does this program do? And she had absolutely no idea what her own department did. She could not answer one thing, not one of his questions. Could, when, she, when he said, what is this $15 million for? What is this $40 million for? She had no idea. She could literally did not answer a single question. And then when the whole thing about the Medicaid fraud came up, um, the governor literally uh, would not let us put money in for um, the – because the, right, the DHH has no mechanism for investigating. So the attorney general came in and said, fine. I'll do it. And the governor vetoed the fund. It's a quarter so of a you, billion dollars, Alan. The program would pay for itself. If you spend $50 million, which is a lot of money, mm -hmm. investigating Medicaid fraud, it's going to pay for itself five or six times over. I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's a ridiculously juvenile approach to the budget. We're going to give them as much money as we possibly can, and we're not going to investigate and determine whether the money is being spent correctly. Okay, I'm, keep I'm, in mind, I'm, what a behemoth. But hold it real quick. What about yeah. the DHH is? You got to keep in mind, we never had a deficit. This budget is $3 billion with a B dollars more than Jindal's last budget. John Bell Edwards never had a deficit. Let that sink in. Um, we raised taxes three times, and there was a, again, $3 billion more than last year. $2.8 billion of that $3 billion went to the Department of Health and Hospitals. Because he was bound and determined to make a political point by expanding Medicaid. And Democrats always said expanding Medicaid was going to bring all of this money into the state. So far, it has cost us $2.8 billion down a black hole. And all we've done is force people that were on private insurance off of private insurance and onto Medicaid at a huge cost to the state. And, oh, by the way, we've cut tops. We've cut higher ed. We've raised taxes. We've done all this other stuff that is very detrimental to the people of Louisiana to pay for what is essentially a political point the governor was bound and determined to make. You or Did you really just say we never had a deficit at all? We never, we never had a deficit. We had more money when John Bell Edwards was elected. We had more money available to spend than we did the year before. And then we raised taxes twice, and there was three billion dollars look at the budget jindal's last budget was 27 billion john bell's first budget was 30 billion dollars it went up by almost 10 percent by three billion dollars he has more money to spend than jindal did and and every time you hear john bell talk about these record deficits the only reason he can justify making that statement is because he wanted to spend more than we actually had but he had more money to spend. He had more money available than Jindal did by a huge, huge margin. So, and Mr. it's Allen, not even close. When, when, when John Bell, when Governor Edwards calls for the special session, which I think he will do officially later today, and then he says, I'm not going to recommend any new taxes. But somebody's, prob going somebody's probably going to. What do you expect? 
Well, he's, he, he said, my administration's not going to recommend or, or make any proposals. But the bottom line is he doesn't get to make any proposals. The proposals all have to come from the legislature. And by including it in the call for the special session, that's him making a proposal. You know, what he's trying to say is, I'm not going to have any bills that say, please raise taxes or fees, but I'm going to open it up to you. I'm going to include it in the call so you can if you want to. That That's that's technical jargon. So what do you if think? he includes it in the call, he's asking for taxes. What do you expect? In what areas do you do you anticipate there will be recommendations for increased taxes or fees? Yeah, I don't know. We've, we're, we're expecting a lot in the regular session because you don't need a special session to raise taxes or fees because the regular session is a fiscal session. So we're gearing up for things like uh, uh, gasoline tax. Uh, we believe he's going to try major income tax reform, which will be an income It'll, it may be a, a, a cut to some people, but it's going to be a huge tax increase on, on the middle class. Um, and, I mean, we're expected that that's really the two areas where we expect the fight are the are gasoline tax and um, in, an income tax increase, which he's going to call a restructuring. So maybe we get away, do away with what do you in, think? In, what in, do you think? Because the task force transportation task force said a 23, uh, 23 cent a gallon increase. Do you think that's going to be their opening salvo, so to speak? I, I don't know where they're going to start. I, I, I hope they end at zero. Um, I mean, I think we've got the votes to block it because it's simply not necessary. I mean, it, it all, all everything that he's doing is putting a not open for business sign up at the state borders. It's telling every business that might be looking to relocate, that might be interested in coming to Louisiana and creating jobs for Louisiana residents. John Bell is putting up a huge sign at the border that says not open for business. And it is completely short-sighted and detrimental to the people of Louisiana. And the fact that he can't see that is mind-boggling.